This is Cars You Can Fix. Today we're working on a 2002 Honda Accord. We're going to be doing an oil change. Alright, the drain bolt's going to be a 17 millimeter. You're going to want to remove the old crush ring. And install a new one. Install the drain bolt back in. You just want to get it snug. You don't want to get too tight. You don't want to cross thread it. Looks like it's already kind of got a little bit of cross threading going on. But yeah, just snug it up. Okay, now the oil filter. These are a little bit of a pain in the butt. It's right up there. So you're going to just reach your hand all the way up here. Uh, won't turn by hand. So we'll get a tool, get that off. Now you can get the individual cups that fit these, or what I like to use is just these oil filter pliers. If it's on there too tight, these will mess up the, the filter and then you're gonna have a hard time getting it off. Um, but yeah, if it's pretty loose, try this one. If it's really on there, you're gonna wanna use one of these. And I will leave links to the products to buy these tools in the description below. This one wasn't on too tight. Now get your oil catch ready, it's going to drain out. Just let the oil drip out, then unscrew it the rest of the way. And remember this filter is going to be full of oil so you can run Point it up as soon as it comes off. Just like that. You take your rag, you're going to clean the face where the oil filter gasket sits. You want to make sure that the gasket didn't stick to that either. So if that happens, if you double gasket, then you're going to have a leak. You're going to get a little bit of oil. You're going to put it on that O-ring. That gasket. Once it just starts touching a little bit, you're going to spin it about halfway to three quarters. Right about there. You don't want to, you don't want to crank it on too tight. Because then... They're really hard to get off. Now when you remove the oil filter, oil does drip onto this steel right here where the exhaust is. Just when you turn it on the car, you get a, get a little bit of smell. It'll burn off. Right, this engine calls for four and a half quarts of 5W20.
All right, we're just about done there. A little bit more. And we're good. To reset your maintenance light, you're going to push the select reset button and turn the ignition to on, not the engine running. And then the maintenance reset, the maintenance required, will go out. Start it up, run the engine for a little bit. About 10 seconds or so. Then you're going to want to check the dipstick. You're going to want your oil up to that second line right there. This whole part represents one quart. So if you're halfway, that's a half, that's a half quart that you need to add. And we're all done. This is Cars You Can Fix. Thanks for watching.